Later on, you know when you watch these NBA players go up and down the basketball floor for 48 minutes, you know straight off they're among the best conditioned athletes in the world. What you may not realize is exactly how they get that way. Bulls practice headquarters, the Deerfield Multiplex, where Phil Jackson puts his team through drills each day. A variety of techniques fall under the Bulls practice umbrella, and one of the most critical is weight training. It's good for us to be able to come here during this season and keep ourselves going up, and that way during the playoff you're able to, you know, take a lot of the banging and stay away from the injuries. The idea for these athletes is not to wind up with a body by Schwarzenegger, but to stabilize their physical condition for the grind of an 82-game schedule and beyond. If you can keep a player consistent towards the end of the season when the other players are becoming fatigued, the ones who don't train, I'm speaking about, the ones who don't train become fatigued, little things start to hurt. Their strength levels from, from that fatigue and from the cumulative stresses of the season, their strength levels and their performances actually drop off. And what we're trying to get at is maintain his physical quality so that during the playoffs and during the stretch, he's stronger and hopefully he'll have a physical edge on, on, the, on our opponents. The Bulls' weight program is intensive. It even includes weight work on the day of the game, a practice unheard of in athletics at one time. Research changes attitudes, though, and Bulls coaches consider game day lifting very important. If you do something the morning of the game, that evening it's easier to get going. If you've ever participated in athletics, and I remember as a college football player, we'd sit in a hotel room all day, by the time you go to the stadium, you have yeah. to shake yourself to wake up. That if you do a workout in the morning, brief, intense, it does help prepare you. Well, actually, there's some indication that you'll actually did some studies done that you'll jump a little higher and run a little faster. I spent a lot of time working with Al and Eric, and you know they put a lot of time in helping me to develop some upper body and leg strength. Are they tough guys to work with? Yeah, they are tough. I mean, they, they really get after us, and you know they expect us to come in and be consistent on our workout. And you know we we got to look for the same thing with them. So I mean, you got to work both ways. We got to want to put in a lot of effort to give to them. They got to put in a lot of effort to build us up.